Chosen was where you were, where you were, where you were. Chosen was back with another powerful and productive video, right? Great, yes, chosen one. Let's quickly do our smiling exercise. That's so beautiful. Yes, chosen one, continue to smile, right? Great. Yes, before I proceed with this video, let's quickly try and pray, right? Great. Because prayer is the key. If we don't pray, the devil will continue to keep on making mess of us. Yes. I will pray. I will pray. I will pray. Oh, I will pray. If I don't pray, Satan will make mess of me. Oh, chosen ones, we will pray. We will pray. We will pray. Oh, we will pray. If we don't pray, Satan will make mess of us. So whether we feel like praying or not, we got to pray. Yes, whether we are tired or not, we got to make it a point to pray. Yes, because Jesus Christ started with prayer and ended with prayer. And prayer is powerful. When you are out of prayer, you are out of faith. When, when you are out of faith, you are out of God. Yes, a break in prayer is a break in faith. And a break in faith is a break in God. Because among all the graces, it is faith that pleases God the most right great and if you have faith in god then nothing is gonna stop you from praying right communicating with god yes chosen one you got to understand that there is a race that we must run and there are victories to be won and we need the strength of god the power of god to be true each and every time every seconds every minute every hour every day every week every month every year yes we need the strength of God, the power of God. Yes, chosen one. There is a race I must run. There are victories to be won. Give me power every hour to be true. I say there is a race I must run. There are victories to be won. Give me power every hour to be true. Yes. Oh Lord God, creator of heaven and earth, we call upon your holy name. We pray for your strength. We pray, oh Lord, that Father, you will fill us with your strength. For there is a race that we must run and there are victories to be won. We need your strength. We need your power to be true. Help us, oh Lord. Father, Lord, whatever spirit, whatever unclean spirit, whatever spirit that is to kill, to steal, and to destroy in our life, that is from our past, hindering or threatening our present and our future, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we free ourselves from that spirit, from that bondage, from that cage, from that grip of Satan, of the enemy. Yes, Lord, we thank you. We call it done. In your mighty holy name, we pray. Amen. Yes, chosen one. You read the title of this video, right? Great. Yes. They thought that, oh, you are weak. Only to later realize that mm, you are stronger than they think. Yes, chosen one. That is what I want us to talk about in this video. Yes. You see, they want you to come and be telling them about your problems in life. But you are so wise as a chosen one that you know that, no, these people, if I keep on going to them, telling them about my problem, 80% of them, they don't care about the problem that I'm going through. So why share it with them? Let me rather pray about it. Let me share it with God. Yes, because God will never disappoint me. God will never forsake me. But people, they will listen to my story, my problem, and they will not even give me solution to it. But they will go and propagate it, spread it again to soil my name. Oh, yes, you have this understanding. You've never lacked this understanding. Yes. And you again understand that no. 
if 80% don't care, then 20% are the people that are glad, are even happy that you, you, you go through such a problem. So why in the first place go and be telling them your problem? You understand this? Yes, they thought you are weak, so you'll be coming to them, you know, telling them about your problem, telling them about what you're going through. They never knew that you are stronger than they think of you. And because you are strong, you mind your own business. You never tell your problem to anyone. Yes, you try to solve it your own way. You try to keep on questioning yourself. How do I pay this bill? How do I overcome this? How do I do this? How do And God keeps speaking to you. God keeps giving you answer. The spirit of discernment keep on helping you and seeing you through as a chosen one. That's it. I'm telling you, chosen one, people don't care. Learn to rely on God. Learn to love yourself. Right? Yes. They're thinking, oh, you cannot do all these things for yourself. You are weak. But you're never weak. Now they've realized that, no. You're solving your own problem. You're doing your own thing. You're never desperate. You're never needy. you never beg anybody. You keep doing it yourself. And that's it. But the mistake many people make in this life is that many people get to half their age that they will be spending entirely here on this earth before they get to know that life is to do it yourself agenda. Yes, make many people make that mistakes. But you, you never lack understanding. You are full of wisdom. You are wise. Yes, you are wise. I'm telling you, they're thinking that you're weak, but you're never weak. You're stronger. And they've realized that, yes, indeed, you as a chosen one, you are stronger than they ever imagine or think. I'm telling you, because you're doing it's your way. You're relying on God. And you keep becoming successful. What they thought you cannot do, you're doing them. The places they thought, oh, you cannot go, you go in such places. Yes, the things they thought, oh, you cannot have, you have in them. You're doing it your way. The grace of God is sufficient for you. And keep pushing you. And keep seeing you true. As a chosen one. Chosen one. That's it. Learn to rely on God. For God will never forsake you. But for people, I tell you, they will forsake you. We are living in a world, in a generation where people are happy. Yes, when you have problems, they are happy that you have problems. And when you are happy, you are glad, you are content, you are joyous, ex excited, happy. It becomes a problem to them. That is the world we live in. in. So when you realize that, oh, something gives you peace of mind and peace of heart, keep it to yourself. Tell nobody. Tell no one. Stay low-key with it. Because people are not good. Many people are not having the same hearts like you. So tell it to nobody. Tell it to no one. Let nobody know your move. And keep doing it your own way. If you don't understand anything, God is our Father. You tell God. You rely on God. Because you and God are majority. I'm telling you. You are powerful. You are stronger. You are just an amazing person. Yes. And each and every time you try to do things your way, you yourself, you keep astonishing yourself. You keep on astonishing yourself. You realize, nah, you are stronger than you, you, you even think of yourself. All this while. Yes. So keep, keep on keeping on. Keep on going. Keep on doing you. Keep on being you. All right? You are powerful. They taught you weak. 
but you are powerful. Because you are soft, they thought you are weak. They never knew that you are like water. Water is very soft, but water is very powerful. That is who you are. Yes, chosen one. You are soft, but you are firm. Your yes is your yes, your no is your no. That's it. That's all you need to succeed in this life. Your yes should be your yes and your no should be your no. You are very soft like water. But you are strong. You are stronger. And they are realizing this now. Just like water, rivers that don't flow backwards. You never flow backwards. You keep moving forward. And you keep on conquering whatever obstacle, whatever barrier, whatever hindrance. Yes, you keep on overcoming. You keep on winning. You keep on keeping on. You keep on moving forward, flowing forward. And they are realizing that. Ah, we thought she's weak. We thought he's weak, not knowing he's not. Yes. Not knowing you're not. Sometimes you're only acting. Mm -hmm. You're only acting because you don't want to outwit your master. You know best. You're strong. But sometimes, as that book of... Uh, the, 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 that book, those of you who read that book, um, 14, 48 Laws of Power, one of the laws says that never try to outwit your master. Oh, yes. Even if you know, even if you are good at it, even if you are best, you are better than your master, you don't have to show it. You have to act a bit weak so that your master will have in mind that, oh, you can't do it. Yes, but until you pass out, yes, and you are with yourself, there, your master will realize that, ah, this guy is stronger, this lady is stronger than with we ever think or imagine. Yes, you'll be doing great things. That's it. You know why? If you try to outwit your master wh whilst you are with your master, there are masters that will hate you for that. If you are a chosen one, you should learn this. Take this with you. Never try to outwit your master. Because already chosen ones, we, you, you have what we call royal enemies. These royal enemies are people that in life, it's like they have things you don't even have. They have homes, they have cars, you don't have home, you don't have home on, uh, you don't have your own house, you don't have your own car. You know, they have money in their bank accounts. You don't have such monies in your bank account yet. Yet, they are jealous of you. Yet, they hate you. Yet, they are envious of you. Th those people are royal enemies. Yes, they are royal enemies. Just like uh, uh, David and, and, and that of Saul. Right? You see, royal enemy have everything. But yet, they are seeing some greatness inside of you. And because of that, they will hate you for no reason. So, if you try to outwit the master, then now <laughs> you are dead. You are dead, right? Great. So, sometimes, even when you know, you have to ask your master, Master, how do we do this? Even though you know, you go and seek for his suggestions, his, um, his knowledge, his guidance, you know, so that the master will feel, you know, pompous. Like, yeah, I am the boss. I am the master. Not knowing you know, and even you know better, but, you know, um, you're only trying to, I mean, not outwit him. A and when that happens, you are going to learn more. You're going, if there is something, you're going to learn from him and add it to what you already know. And that makes you to excel no more, no better, and, you know, you keep succeeding in this life as a chosen one, right? That's it. That's it. We already have so many enemies, haters, people that envy us and jealous us, right? So we shouldn't be making more <laughs> enemies for ourselves, right? Yes, sometimes we should try to 
let our masters feel superior over us and that is okay because you understand and know that no you're not gonna be under them forever right that's it that's it so to them they will think all right that you are weak but you're never weak you're strong you're stronger than they ever imagined that's it they realize it now those of you who are no longer with your masters and you are on your own those of you who have established your own businesses you know and you are succeeding the people you used to work for they're now realizing that ah you are stronger than you think those who used to stay with someone yes now that you know more with them you are on your own you're doing it your own way they're realizing that ah you're stronger than they think i'm telling you they thought you are weak all this while you're never weak you're so strong because your god is strong your redeemer is strong and mighty yes that's it scripture says let the weak say i am strong let the sick say i am healed let the poor say i am blessed let the captives say i am delivered yes and let those that need salvation say i am free that's it thank you so much thank you for watching this video see you in my next video i'm out for now peace